Hey, air signs, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Thursday, January um, 10th. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So we will get started here and get my deck cleared and. Okay, one more shuffle for you, Air Signs. Air Signs in Love for January 10th, 2018, or 19. Air Signs in Love for January 10th, 2019. Okay, there we go. Three cards for you guys, three for your person you are um, dealing with, and three for your outcome. Bottom of the deck will be your shared energy and overall theme of your reading. All right, there we go. Three right off the bat. First card out, the Six of Wands in reverse, followed by the Knight of Cups in reverse, and the Eight of Wands in reverse. The person you are dealing with is the Three of Swords in reverse, the Two of Pentacles in reverse, and the Page of Swords in reverse. Your guys' is outcome. Is the lovers in reverse, the high priestess in reverse, and the seven of wands. Your bottom of the deck in shared energy is the seven of pentacles in the reverse, the world in reverse, and the sun in reverse. What is up with all these cards in reverse? <laughs> okay. So, we'll start with your guys' shared energy. Um, not This uh, situation is calling for you to be patient, um, to continue to invest in yourself, continue to work on manifesting, planting those seeds of intention so that they can grow into the physical what you are wanting um, out of this situation, uh, to, to keep having faith. The sun is going to illuminate uh, what needs to be seen, what needs to uh, happen in order for you to close out this major life cycle. Um, there's something that you're not seeing, something that you have to do in order to end this, this major uh, life cycle that you are completing. Why is the six of wands here for our air signs? Six of wands. The five of swords. So, um, you're feeling really defeated by this situation. Somebody could have said something that hurt you really bad. Um, this person uh, didn't care about your feelings. They just uh, stabbed you in the back and walked away. Uh, there could have been some things that were said that were not fair, that, that really hurt. Um, and you're trying to figure out what, how this happened, why it came to this. Um, you're just, you're feeling really betrayed by this. Uh, it caused you to pull back emotionally. You, uh, you weren't investing in this relationship, uh, with the Knight of cups. You were ignoring your feelings, um, because of the heaviness of this relationship. It just wasn't time for this relationship to work out for some of you. For some of you, this is the ending of the relationship. There's just something that has to be done to complete this cycle so you can move forward. Um, there isn't any communication about or with this person. Messages are being blocked. You could have been blocked or you blocked somebody else. Um, somebody that you had once created uh, a foundation, a life with, there is limited uh, communication. If you have children, it's very limited. If you don't have children together, there is no communication at all. Um, why is the three of swords in reverse? This person was also heartbroken by the ending of this situation or by the way that this relationship um, or what this relationship has turned into. Why is the three of swords here for air signs partner? 
but they are getting over that. They are allowing this the swords of the pain to fall out of the heart. Why is the three of swords here? Thank you. Yeah, and this is with you. The, they are no longer um, feeling heartbroken over the ending of this relationship with the two of you. Uh, it They were heartbroken for a very long time, but they're getting over that. They're finding balance in their life again. They're no longer having to juggle this energy because they are letting go of this commitment. They are no longer um, trying to make this commitment work. Uh, this is a non-traditional relationship. So uh, they're no longer trying to juggle uh, their feelings, their thoughts, their emotions. They're just letting it go. They're, no, they're not even wanting to communicate. Uh, there is no communication here. Yeah, because they have gone within. They have retreated from the world. They're not communicating with you. They're not um, anything with you at the moment. They are just focused on themselves, healing themselves, um, healing this broken heart, finding balance in their life again. And they are um, wanting to do it on their own. They are trying to complete this major life cycle so that they can move forward. Um, in your guys' outcome for the day is the lovers. Somebody is not making a decision that needs to be made. And it's keeping the both of you from moving forward. Why is the lovers here in reverse? The two of swords. Yeah. There, nobody's making a choice. There's a choice between two lovers here. This person um, on the top is very heartbroken. Um, this person on the bottom feels they have found a soulmate and they're moving forward. They're no longer letting the heartbreak of this relationship affect them. But the, ultimately, there is a choice between two people and it's not being made right now. Um, you guys could be the third party and you're waiting for this person to communicate with you again and you're heartbroken that they haven't made a choice yet. And this person's heart uh, feeling better because uh, because they could be working on the relationship together. And you guys are upset because they haven't chosen you yet. There is secrets that are coming out with the High Priestess in reverse. Like I said, in your guys' shared energy, the sun is going to illuminate what needs to be illuminated, allowing you to complete, out, complete this major life cycle. Uh, this could have to do with a fire sign. But, um, or the fire sign is the one that's going to be telling you the secrets. Um, they're going to be the one that blows the, blows the secrets right out of the water with this high priestess. This is also somebody that is very, um, connected to source, but their intuition is slightly off due to they're letting this love block their, their common sense. You um, are remaining very defensive uh, about this connection. You feel that this is your wish come true, that you feel that this is going to prevail. This is also a timing card for me. So uh, in the time of Aquarius, uh, this could come back for another shot. This could, um, yeah, this could come back for another try, or you could decide to give up the fight. No longer... Um, going to fight for this relationship because somebody new is going to come into your energy and earth sign. Um, somebody who is stable, somebody who's grounded, somebody who wants a new beginning with you and can offer you this 10 of cups. Uh, yeah, you're defending your success. Also, uh, the world card is here in reverse as well. So there's something that needs completed here. Something needs to come to an end in order for your true love to come forward whether that be this person that you're waiting for or somebody new, but this, this world has to flip in the upright. There's something you're not seeing. The universe is going to step in and allow you uh, to see what you need to see to complete this cycle. Your cards for the day are separation time apart from your partners on the horizon. Like I said, you could be the third partner um, and let your friends help you ask and accept support from others. So, um, don't be afraid to reach out for help, for advice, um, ask your angels for help. But most importantly, your bottom of the deck is to stay optimistic about your love life. Uh, always keep the faith. If it's something you want and something you feel is right for you, keep the faith. Never give up hope um, that whatever is meant for you will work out for you in the best possible way. Um, continue to work on yourself, invest in yourself, and uh, what's meant for you will come towards you very soon. So, all right, air signs. I hope that you have a beautiful Thursday. I'll see you next time. God bless.